The next method is called delete. Again, public function delete. We pass in the table name, and then value, and the field by default ID again. I'm going to be removing by default by ID. And now if is an empty table and helper is empty value and is an empty field. Again, same situation, but let me first return false at the end. Same situation because it's too long and I don't like it. We're just going to cut it off and move up a little bit. And before our delete method, we're going to create another one, private function r delete parameters valid. And we pass them on, actually, not this way. Let's simply return and in a bracket the statement. Now, if I copy all these, but add an ID at the end, I'm going to set it to null. And I actually should should have done the same with the other one. So if I scroll up a little bit, and for the R update parameters valid, also remove uh, this ID and simply set it to null. Now going back down, and now in our delete method, this R delete parameters valid. And we're going to pass all three of them, obviously without the assignment of any kind. So just parameters, which we've received through the parameters of the delete method. And now we go, if they are all valid, then SQL equals delete from table where field equals question mark. And then we simply return this execute SQL and value. And that's our delete uh, method completed. Now just to let you know a little bit about how PHP Storm works, it highlights actually my SQL statement because it recognizes them as SQL statement. You can then create database source here and basically link it to the database on the server and that would uh, prompt you basically with all the field names and so on. it's a pretty good piece of software basically but anyway just to tell you why it's highlighting basically uh, all these sql statements here so that's our delete method completed